At the end of the hard candy era in 2008, Madonna embarked on various endeavours. This included the release of her third greatest hits album titled Celebration, released in 2009, the introduction of two clothing lines called Material Girl and Truth or Dare, and directed her second feature film titled W.E. In 2011, it was announced that she was working on her 12th album, What Would Become MDNA. In this video, we'll take a look at the MDNA era. Whilst the album received praise for its dance pop elements and catchy singles, it was also criticised for the perceived lack of cohesion and lighter lyrical content. This led to some seeing this as a misstep in the singer's discography. Following her divorce from Guy Ritchie in 2010, Madonna announced that she would be working on a new album. She expressed a desire to create something upbeat and something she could dance to. Madonna, often known for reinvention and setting musical trends whilst navigating the music landscape, had high expectations for this album. Coming off the incredibly successful Confessions on a Dance Floor, Madonna was keen to recapture the energy and anthemic sounds from the album and combine that with trends of EDM and dance pop, which was popular during the late 2000s. Madonna reunited with longtime collaborator William Orbit. Orbit, who worked with Madonna during the Ray of Light and Music eras, took no time in agreeing to another project. The pair had worked together on a number of successful tracks, most notably Nothing Really Matters and Ray of Light. Many consider Ray of Light to be some of Madonna's best work to date, and therefore were excited to see what the duo would release next. Madonna, Madonna, um, you just announced your brand new album. Mm. You always know for reinventing yourself and kind of starting a trend before it becomes popular. Can you tell us a little bit about what the new genre, the album's gonna sound like, the genre, producers, just give your fans a little feel of what they can expect? Um, well, I did a good majority of the record with Martin Solvig, who's a DJ slash producer. Um, he's, I love his sound, it's really fresh doesn't sound like anybody else's. Um, he's brilliantly talented, happy. I would say his music is happy. It puts a smile on your face, and I hope my record does that too. And I collaborated again with William Orbit, who tends to make me more introspective and a bit, I don't know. His songs tend to be, um, I, don't, they, I, want, I don't want to say dark, but more thoughtful and introspective, yeah. So it's a good, good, good combination of the, the light and the dark. Orbit's influence is evident in tracks like Gang Bang and Some Girls, which feature a combination of electronic and experimental elements. Orbit's production style complements Madonna's ability to fuse pop with innovative sounds, something which the pair had done well previously. Madonna would also work with a number of other producers for the project. Martin Solvay, a prominent French DJ and producer, brought his electronic and dance influences to the album. Notably, he co-produced and co-wrote the album's lead single, Give Me All Your Lovin'. Solveig's touch added a contemporary, upbeat feel to the track, aligning it with the pop and dance trends of the time. success of Hello last year, and it brought a lot of attention on, on, on my work in general, and that's probably how, well, it's apparently how um, Madonna and her manager guy uh, uh, found out about, about what I do, and they... they they just contacted me very, very, like, saying, do you have any thing that would be, I don't know, any music that, would you be interested? I, I literally stopped everything else I was doing and I took the first plane and went to start working for, for that, that project, which is great, actually, it's going to be released in three days, so it's like the big time now, and uh, I'm really, really proud of that uh, of, I, of the six tracks I, I've, did on, uh, I've done on the album and also the album in general which I think is, is, really, is really quite brilliant and all the other producers have made a really good job. Benny Benassi, renowned for his work in electronic and dance music, co-produced the opening track for the album Girl Gone Wild. His expertise in creating infectious beats and energetic rhythms enhanced the dance pop vibe of the track. The collaboration resulted in a club-friendly anthem that showcased Madonna's ability to stay relevant in the world of EDM. Madonna played an active role in co-writing many of the songs on MDNA. Her personal involvement in the creative process allowed her to infuse the album with her own experiences and emotions. Tracks like Masterpiece and I'm a Sinner bear the mark of her lyrical contributions, 
reflecting themes of love, loss, and self-empowerment. The overall theme of Madonna's MDNA album revolves around love, heartbreak, and empowerment. The title MDNA is actually a triple entendre, representing both her name, her DNA or genetic makeup, as well as a reference to a drug. Lyrically, the songs often explore personal relationships, resilience in the face of challenges, and themes of self-discovery. The album also reflected Madonna's ability to continue to reinvent herself, both musically and personally. Sonically, the album hit the sweet spot between pop and EDM, and was comparable to an album such as Halcyon by Ellie Goulding, which also was able to sit comfortably between both genres. The project spawned four official singles, and excluding greatest hits albums and soundtracks, was the singer's shortest era to date, lasting just under five months between the first and final singles to be released. Give Me All Your Lovin' was the lead single from the album. This song followed several trends that were prevalent in pop music in 2012 around the time of its release. The single incorporated a pop and dance fusion, a trend that was widespread in the early 2000s. Madonna herself was a pioneer with her albums like Ray of Light and Music showcasing a seamless integration of pop melodies with electronic and dance beats. The single also featured two prominent rappers, Nicki Minaj and M.I.A. This trend of incorporating rap verses into pop songs was common in the music industry, aimed at reaching a broader audience by blending different genres. This trend was pioneered by Nicki Minaj herself and her debut album Pink Friday. The music video for the single followed the trend of high-energy, visually engaging productions. It featured vibrant colours, cheerleader themes and fast-paced editing, catering to the visual preferences of audiences accustomed to dynamic and visually stimulating content. Madonna also leveraged social media platforms for the promotion of the single. This aligned with the increasing importance of social media in the music industry during that time, as artists began to use platforms like Twitter and Facebook to connect with fans and promote their work directly. While the single incorporated these trends, it's important to note that Madonna has often been a trendsetter herself, influencing the industry with her innovative approaches to music and visuals throughout her career. The single showcased her ability to adapt to contemporary sounds while maintaining her iconic style. Commercially, the song's chart performance was moderate at best, peaking at number 10 on the US Hot 100 chart and number 37 on the UK Singles chart. It did, however, reach number one in Canada, along with some other territories. Critically, the song received mixed reviews, some praising a fresh sound from the singer and working with a younger generation of artists, whilst others would be confused about the song's message and direction, with some critics taking jabs at Madonna's lyrical delivery. During the same month the single was released, Madonna would perform at the Super Bowl halftime show, where she would be joined by both Nicki and M.I.A. Whilst this performance would be controversial, it would also help with the overall promotion and awareness of both the single and upcoming album. Girl Gone Wild served as the second single from the album. The track was co-written by Madonna, Jensen Vaughan, and the Italian DJ duo Benny and Alla Benassi. The Benassi brothers also collaborated on the production of the song alongside Madonna. The song is characterised by its dance pop, and EDM influences and features pulsating beats, catchy melodies, and a club-friendly vibe, aligning with the contemporary dance trends prevalent at the time of its release. The lyrics depict a celebration of freedom, self-expression, and uninhibited behaviour. Madonna sings about letting loose on the dance floor, embracing a carefree and rebellious spirit. The lyrics contribute to the overall energetic and empowering atmosphere of the song. The music video was directed by Mert and Marcus and features Madonna in various provocative and stylized scenes. The video emphasizes dance sequences, visually complementing the song's upbeat and club-oriented feel. It includes striking imagery and choreography, showcasing Madonna's ability to create visually captivating content. The video harked back to Madonna's earlier work, particularly her erotica era. Both videos explored themes of sensuality, eroticism, and provocative imagery. The stylized and risque visuals in Girl Gone Wild echo Madonna's fearless approach to pushing boundaries in her art. Madonna has always been known for her energetic dance skills, and Girl Gone Wild continued this tradition. 
The video features intricate choreography, reminiscent of her earlier videos like Vogue and Hung Up. The emphasis on dance sequences reinforced Madonna's reputation as a pop icon who could deliver captivating performances. The visuals also demonstrated the singer's penchant for cinematic and visually striking elements. The black and white colour scheme, stylized lighting and meticulous attention to visual details were reminiscent of her Vogue video, which is celebrated for its high fashion aesthetics and is now considered a gay anthem. While Girl Gone Wild paid homage to Madonna's visual legacy, it also demonstrated her ability to evolve and adapt her iconic style to fit the contemporary music landscape. The critical response to the track was largely favourable, with reviewers highlighting various aspects of the song that contributed to its positive reception. One of the key points of praise centred around the infectious and high-energy nature of the track. Critics commended the dance pop and EDM influences, particularly within the club and dance music scenes. Madonna's collaboration with Benny and Ale Benassi, both renowned figures in the electronic music realm, was often cited as a strength of the song. The producer's expertise in creating pulsating beats and dynamic electronic arrangements complemented Madonna's vocals, resulting in a track that felt both modern and relevant. The lyrics were acknowledged for their celebratory and empowering themes, with Madonna singing about letting loose, embracing freedom and enjoying a carefree spirit. Critics noted that the lyrics, combined with the energetic production, contributed to the overall upbeat and positive atmosphere of the song. While the single may not have achieved the same commercial success as some of Madonna's earlier hits, critics recognised the track as a solid addition to her extensive discography. The song's placement on the album and its role as the second single contributed to the overall positive critical assessment of Madonna's ability to stay current and deliver music that resonates with contemporary audiences. Masterpiece was the third single from the album and was also included in the soundtrack for the 2011 film W.E., which as mentioned earlier was directed by Madonna. The song was released as a single in 2012 and won the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song. The track was produced by William Orbit and Jimmy Harry and can be described as a mid-tempo ballad that combines pop and acoustic elements. The song features a heartfelt and introspective tone with Madonna's vocals accompanied by a melodic arrangement. The music video for the song acts primarily as promotional and features scenes from the movie, serving as a visual complement to the song. It's worth noting that Madonna throughout her career has often used music videos and visuals not only as a means of promoting her songs, but also as a platform for artistic expression and storytelling. The masterpiece video, tied closely to the film it was created for, reflects this approach offering audiences a visual glimpse into the world from the movie, while showcasing the emotional depth of the song itself. The track received positive critical acclaim, particularly for its emotive qualities, Madonna's vocal performance, and its role within the context of the film. The song's Golden Globe win for Best Original Song further underscored its critical recognition. Critics lauded the song for its emotional depth and intimate quality. Madonna's vocal delivery was often highlighted, with reviewers acknowledging the sincerity and vulnerability in her performance. The song was commended for its seamless integration into the film, with critics noted how the music and lyrics complemented the film's narrative, enhancing the emotional impact of key scenes. Winning the Golden Globe was a significant accolade. The award not only recognised the song's musical merits, but also its contribution to the film's overall artistic achievement. Masterpiece may not have been a massive chart-topping hit, but its critical acclaim, the Golden Globe win, and its positive reception within the context of the film elevated its significance. Madonna's ability to create a song that resonated emotionally and thematically with the film contributed to the overall success. Turn Up the Radio was the final single released from the album and was written by Madonna, Martin Solvay, Michael Torgeman and singer Jade Williams. The song prominently features electronic production, with a blend of synthesizers, programmed beats and electronic effects. This aligns with the overall electronic and dance pop orientation of the album. The song is known for its catchy hooks, including the repetitive and anthemic chorus. The melodic structure, coupled with Madonna's vocal delivery, contributes to the song's sing-along quality. 
the tempo of the song is relatively fast, enhancing its danceable and club-friendly nature. The rhythmic drive adds to the overall energy of the track, making it suitable for both radio airplay and dance floor settings. Madonna's vocals in the song are characterised by her trademark delivery, confident, clear and expressive. Her voice is well integrated into the electronic production, creating a seamless fusion of pop and dance elements. The music video was directed by Tom Munro and features the singer on a road trip through Italy, escaping from her chaotic life and connecting with people she encounters along the way. The video reflects the song's theme of seeking escapism through music and the joy of turning up the radio to drown out the noise of life. MDNA solidified its commercial success by securing the 12th spot among the best-selling albums of 2012. In the US, the album made an impressive debut at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. The initial week of release, the album sold an impressive 359,000 copies, marking a significant milestone for the singer. This achievement represented her most substantial first week sales since the release of her album Music, which was released 12 years prior. Furthermore, the album secured its place as Madonna's eighth chart-topping album and continued her streak of five consecutive studio albums debuting at number one. So when her new album was released last month, once again, she got her attention. It debuted at number one. It's hard to be number one. It's hard to sell records. It's hard, you know, it's a lot of competition and uh, I was extremely elated. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But in the second week, it plunged down the charts, leaving some to wonder if the mistress of reinvention had lost her touch. The album's debut at number one extended beyond the US and included notable achievements in the UK, Australia, Mexico and several parts of Europe. This global recognition underscored Madonna's enduring global appeal and ability to resonate with diverse audiences. The widespread acclaim for the album translated into multiple certifications. The album earned platinum and gold certifications in several countries, including Russia, the UK, the US and Australia. These certifications not only reflected the commercial triumph of MDNA, but also highlighted the singer's enduring ability to captivate audiences and maintain her status as a global music icon across multiple generations. Whilst the album didn't necessarily spawn widespread trends or directly influence a particular musical movement, it did reflect the contemporary sounds of its time and showcased Madonna's ongoing ability to incorporate current musical styles into her work. The album's emphasis on EDM and pop resonated with the prevailing trends of its time. Additionally, the album likely had a more subtle influence on the evolving sound of pop music during its release period. Madonna has a history of shaping and influencing pop music trends. While MDNA might not have sparked a revolution in the industry, it served as a testament to Madonna's adaptability and willingness to explore new sounds. Other artists may look to the singer and her career as a model of longevity and reinvention in the ever-evolving music landscape. Do you have stuff left to prove? I don't know about prove, but I certainly have stuff left to say. Um, and I think that's really why I'm doing it. I still feel like expressing myself that way. And I'll keep doing it as long as I do. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the album and whether it stood out to you as one of your favourites from the singer. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and hit the subscribe button to be notified of my next release.